In this video, I'll go over setting up a reverse proxy on a Synology NAS with HTTP to HTTPS redirect so that all data passes through a secured SSL connection. For some background, if I'd like to set up access to DSM without a reverse proxy, my setup would look something like this. By default, DSM is accessible over ports 5000 and 5001 for HTTP and HTTPS respectively. On my router, I would set up port forwarding to those ports. Then from an external client, I could connect through HTTP using my assigned public IP address over port 5000 to access DSM on my Synology NAS. If I enable HTTP to HTTPS redirect on my NAS, then because of the port forwarding rule already in place on my router, the client would automatically be redirected to use HTTPS over port 5001 to establish a secured connection. With a reverse proxy, access to DSM could be set up using the standard port 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS, so custom ports don't need to be port forwarded through my router. Then the reverse proxy running on my Synology NAS could be set up to establish a connection to the usual DSM ports. On the client end, this would be hidden and the user would connect without using the custom ports. For HTTP to HTTPS redirect with a reverse proxy, it's a little trickier to set up and I'll use Apache and WebStation to get that working. Once that is in place, the client would be automatically redirected to use HTTPS over the standard SSL port. Now let's get to setting things up. But one thing I didn't mention earlier is that we'll use DDNS as part of the setup. I'll configure DDNS by going to Control Panel, External Access, then I'll select DDNS. I'll click Add, and for Service Provider, I'll select Synology. I'll enter in a host name I'd like to use. Enable the option to get a certificate from Let's Encrypt and set it as default, and click test connection where I get a status of normal. Now I'll finish up the setup by clicking OK, then OK again on this pop-up window. Once the web server completes restarting, DDNS should be all set and ready to use. On my router, I've set up port forwarding rules for port 80 and 443 to be forwarded to the corresponding ports on my Synology NAS. You'll need to set up these same port forwarding rules on your specific router. Now I'll start setting up the reverse proxy rules and I'll begin with the HTTPS to HTTPS configuration. To do this, I'll bring up Login Portal, click on Advanced, then select Reverse Proxy. Here I'll click Create to bring up this reverse proxy rules window. I'll enter in a name for the reverse proxy rule. Under the source section, I'll change the protocol to HTTPS. Enter in the DDNS hostname that was set up earlier under hostname and enter in 443 for the port. Under the destination section, I'll again change the protocol to HTTPS. For hostname, I'll enter in localhost because I want the reverse proxy to connect to the local DSM install and enter in 5001 for the port, which is the default SSL port that DSM uses. Then click Save to complete the setup. Now, if I bring up a new browser tab and enter in the DDNS hostname using HTTPS, we can see that the reverse proxy is working properly using the default SSL port rather than the custom port assigned to DSM. Next, I'll set up HTTP to HTTPS redirect, but I'll first need to install Apache and WebStation from the Package Center. Once installed, I'll bring up FileStation and within the web share folder, I'll create a subfolder, name it HTTP to HTTPS and click OK. Then I'll upload this htaccess file that I created earlier into the newly created folder. The HT access file contains these lines listed here on screen, which I'll also include in the description below. 
I'll then need to rename the ht access file to include a dot or period at the beginning of the file name and click OK. Next, I'll bring up WebStation from the main menu. Select the Web Service Portal listing and click on the Create button to launch the Portal Creation Wizard. Here, I'll select Virtual Host, then from this Set up a Virtual Host window, I'll select Port Based for the portal type. For port, I'll enable HTTP, then enter in an unused port number that I'd like to use, and I chose 50,000 for this setup, then I'll click Next. From this window, I'll set the document root to the directory that was created earlier. Change the HTTP backend server to Apache, then click Next once again, and click Next once more from this Set Timeout window. Then click Create on this Confirm Settings window, and click OK on this pop-up window to update the permissions of the folder that was created earlier. Now I'll need to create another reverse proxy rule so I'll bring up Control Panel once again, then select Login Portal, click on the Advanced tab, then click on the Reverse Proxy button. Here I'll click Create, then enter in a name for the Reverse Proxy rule. Under Source, I'll enter in the DDNS hostname in the Hostname box and set the port to 80. Under Destination, I'll enter in localhost for the hostname, and for port, enter in 50,000 which was the port that was used earlier when setting up the virtual host in WebStation, then click Save. Now I'll bring up a web browser tab once again and change the address to use HTTP only. Then I'll hit Enter and we can see that the redirect to HTTPS has taken place, making use of the Let's Encrypt certificate that was set up earlier. For further details on Synology's reverse proxy, refer to the links in the description below and check out this video listed here on screen for additional content from my channel. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.